Hello, my name is Timothy Ribbon. In this video for the Scroll Saw Phone Holder Challenge, I'm gonna show you how I make my product. For this video, you need your finished pattern. Check out the first video down below in the description if you haven't seen that. You need a pair of scissors. If you're using a scroll saw, you best be wearing those safety glasses. And of course, my favorite, the Wen Scroll Saw. By now you should have your piece of wood. Remember that it is two and a quarter by eight and a half. And uh, I've got this cute little thumb notch here that I'm gonna work around. You might have a piece where you've gotta be creative about working around something too. So here's how I'm gonna tackle this. You'd best believe that there is in fact a strategy to how you cut these things out. Anywhere I have a straight line, I am gonna try to take advantage of the edge of my piece of wood. I don't wanna have to cut this straight line or this straight line, cause they're rather large. And as you might know, cutting a straight line can be a challenge. So check out how I cut this bad boy out. Now an important thing to remember, my scroll saw is going to cut through this part and down this line and around this corner. It's important to leave extra paper there for that scroll saw to cut through as well. So here is my pattern. Here is how I cut this thing out. You can see I have the 90 degree angle. I'm gonna line that up in the corner of my piece of wood. I'm gonna use rubber cement to glue this thing down. Watch these next steps closely. All right, so my plan is to have this notch become scrap. I'm gonna glue this guy down in the corner. You can see that my diagonal cut is gonna eliminate that bad boy. taking careful aim and making sure that my pattern is flush with the end of the pieces of my wood. Smooth out any thick parts of the glue. And my next stop is the scroll saw.
So I've got one side cut, but before I go on to the next one, I want to make sure that uh, my phone's going to fit in there. So here I am with my phone trying to see how the fit is. Right now, I feel like I like that lean. That's a good lean. So you can see how this piece had come out of this. Now, rather than make a second pattern that's a duplicate of this, which is pretty hard to do, all I take is this finished cut one, invert it over here, and create myself a mirror image. Go ahead and get your pencil, do some tracing. Voila, the second scroll saw pattern. Next up, we got to pretty these guys up. Now I'm using 80 grit sandpaper for this, just a small piece. And uh, I'm gonna get any rough spots from the scroll saw as well as any corner that's on this is getting a small little sandpaper fillet. So in these next scenes, you're gonna have to use your imagination a little bit because the words aren't gonna match my lips. I'll be doing voiceover. So you can imagine it's like a movie from the 1960s, maybe uh, you know a foreign film where they did the voiceovers. Use your imagination. All right, so I have finished sanding as you can see. It's been about 20 minutes and uh, now I've got some nice looking phone holders and I'm just gonna set them up here and set my phone inside. Holds really nicely, I'm happy with the results. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please hit like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.